If I were to go back to the first day of my MBBS and tell an 18 year old Anirudh how to go about studying anatomy, what is the best strategy to study anatomy, revise it and memorize it, it would be everything that I shall be covering in this particular video. In this video, I'll be going into the best YouTube channels that you can refer to to take your anatomy to a completely different level. We'll also be going through the various online resources available. How to approach your anatomy from a university standpoint and how to prepare anatomy for your PG preparation. We'll also be going into the various tools that you can use to keep on revising anatomy to make it and commit it to your long term memory. And finally, we'll also be talking about this book. This book that has helped me to take my anatomy to the next level and in fact visualize anatomy for the long term memory. If you are new here, hello, my name is Anirudh Bhatt, a third year medical student at Goa Medical College and I make videos to make our medical journey as pleasant as possible. So do consider subscribing to the channel. So let us start with this video right now. Before I go into the exact resources that you need to study anatomy, I want you to understand the approach to studying the subject. Anatomy cannot be learned by simply ratifying the subject. It is not possible. What you need to do is you need to have a mental model of how anatomy of the body seems like. You need to know the relations between the structures. What structures passes through what foramen. You need to able to develop a mental model. For example, when you talk about the hand, you need to Im immediately associate what is the hand, what are the bones, what are the nerves, the vessels entering and where they supply. But this uh, mental model will only come with the use of your images, videos and animations because human beings are audio visual beings. To cater to this particular need, there are several YouTube channels. But my top three recommendations are Anatomy Zone, Ken Hub and Armando Hasudunga. Now these YouTube channels continuously run animation modules. You want to know a particular part, simply Google and Anatomy Zone and go through the entire video. This should form the first layer of information in your brain. Now let us also talk about this particular legend, Dr. Najib. He seems to be the best teacher in the entire world. And it also happens to be that he also teaches anatomy in a much more creative way by invoking lifelike examples into his particular videos. If you are willing to sit through his hours long of lecture, there are tons of hours of his lecture on his YouTube channel available for free. You can also go for Dr. Najib for a much more in-depth understanding. If you are into your US MLE preparation, he is the ideal teacher learn anatomy. After you have sealed the first layer of studying anatomy which is having a visual representation of the anatomical part, it is time to move on to the details. This is where your textbooks come in. Now every medical student thinks in first year that he can go through the Gray's Anatomy which is the gold standard textbook for anatomy. But eventually of course we end up studying from BD Chaurasia and this is also the book that I would recommend. It has plain, simple language that can be digested by students of all sections of society. So BD Chaurasia does best in filling those details, those very MCQ points that you would need to pass your university or even your PG preparation. So go through your BD Chaurasia after having a proper layer 1 information about the mental models, about the anatomical structures. After reading BD Chaurasia, do go through your class notes because the teachers collect information from various other sources like Snell's Anatomy, Gray's Anatomy and integrate it into their lecture. So you'll be having a holistic view of the entire topic of anatomy from different sources. Now you must have understood by now that you cannot study anatomy by simply going through paragraphs and paragraphs. You need to be imaginative, you need to be creative. I hope you understood these two points that I have made just now. At this moment in time, you have a proper visual representation of the anatomy. You have also gone through the fine details by studying your BD Chaurasia. 
now it is all about recall revision and memorization now how do you do this effectively this is where this book comes in this is an atlas what is an atlas first of all an atlas is drawings drawings of your anatomical structures you have probably each and every single part over here now when you want to recall and when you want to revise you cannot go back to all the videos that you had just seen to uh, give you a visual representation of the entire model that would simply be time consuming what you need is very efficient diagrams that help you recall the subject that is where the atlas comes in suppose then you are taking the hand in this video right you will go through the video you will also go through bd chorasia but a week later you need to recall that information use your atlas go to that specific page where it talks about the hand and simply try to recall what you have studied an atlas is way more much better than your bd chorasia which gives you line diagrams which are important for your professional exams if you want a much more detailed revision video do consider buying an atlas i recommend frankly the letters atlas he has hand oil painted these diagrams into his book and it is simply the best one out of them this is a personal recommendation now come into the part that you have been waiting for that is your university and pg preparation when it comes to anatomy first of all if you like this video so far do hit the like button and also consider subscribing to the channel so about coming to your professional exams what you need to understand is that the examiners are looking for diagrams they are looking for visually appealing diagrams when they're correcting your paper this is where your bd chorasia comes into play it has excellent line diagram that you can study and you can revise and reproduce it in your university exams go through your 10 years previous year questions that you must have collected in your library or from your seniors go through each and every single short note and think okay it's a short note about the blood supply of the hand what is the diagram what is the corresponding diagram in bd chorasia that i will need to draw in the exam practice that diagram and also think about what you will write in the exam there has to be a diagram and there also has to be a written script that you need to write about the diagram that you need to write about the short note one bonus tip that i'll give over here is that you need to write about your clinical anatomy the clinical correlation to that specific part for example there are a lot of hand fractures hand injuries that are mentioned in bd chorasia if you include two or three lines about this clinical anatomy the examiner gets impressed and you'll definitely get that half or one mark more than your peers zor zor se bol ke logo ko scheme mein bata de coming to your pg entrance exam what is the most important thing in anatomy is that you need to remember images you need to remember the exceptions to the rule you need to know the names of the arteries the nerves the various foramen what passes through it and mostly if you see neat pg focuses on image based it also focuses on your clinical anatomy so do go through your bd chorasia the clinical anatomy part really really well for your pg entrance preparation i'll of course be making a comprehensive video about neat pg preparation in your first year subject So do consider subscribing to the channel for that particular video. Coming to histology and embryology, these two subjects are all about diagrams, 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 and diagrams. Histology comes only when you are able to know what cells present at what part of the body. You know what what glands contain what cells. This is only come when you start taking the lilac pencil and drawing the diagrams. Embryology. you need to go through the entire video produced produced by your dr bhartia medical institute on youtube i think it is a long video and it gives a very good overview of the entire embryology that you need to know in your first year so embryology is also about also about a sequential diagram drawing what happens on the first day the second day the third day how do the somites manifest itself the development of the various parts can only be learned through Drawing. That's it, guys. This video about anatomy, the ultimate strategy to take your anatomy from the level that you are at and 
probably hopefully score a distinction in your university exams and have a proper in-depth understanding about anatomy. If I miss anything in this video, do let me know in the comment section below. Do consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video if you found it useful. That's it from me guys for this particular video. I'll also be uploading a video about physiology and biochemistry sometime next week. So do consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell notification icon for that particular video. And I will see you in the next one.